good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're going to take a look at perforated pipe. You can kind of see we've got holes in it. See the holes in the air? Remember that perforated pipe is used two ways. One, if you, had, if you wanted to drain an area into a dry well, the water would come down the pipe and of course it's going to drain out the holes into the gravel and then the ground soaks that up. That works a little bit, of course, when the groundwater rises uh, in the ground, it backs up that system. This works much better if you're going to collect water. Remember that gravel perforated pipe, that collects subsurface water. So that's the water underground that's rising up, and that goes into your low spot, makes it soggy or wet, and that will rise into the pipe, and the pipe would carry it away. It has to discharge to daylight. What that means is, that it has to have a downhill run, I'm gonna exaggerate, a downhill run, and it has to go out and to the open ground, whether it be a curb or a storm drain or in your backyard, it still needs to go out into the open ground. Finally, remember that perforated pipe with the holes, you need to put gravel down here. Holes point down. That's the most important thing. You put the holes up here and it takes a lot more water to fill up through the gravel to get into the holes so it stays wet and soggy. Putting the holes down, gravel underneath and on the top, that helps the water go straight up and into those holes and carry it away much quicker. I'll put the link to the other video to show you how that works right here. You can just take a look right here. Okay, perforated pipe, <clears throat> this is a piece of three inch pipe. I want you to see the difference between three and four inch. Three inch works well, four inch is better. You can see how much difference there is when I slide them together. You can also see how much difference there is when we put it out here, and you can really see the difference. One inch makes a huge difference. So if you live up north, a lot of the people up north have three inch pipe installed. It, it works great, it's not bad. But if you're gonna have a replacement, Ask them to put four inch pipe in, whether it be PVC or whether it be corrugated pipe. Corrugated pipe works really good. And I put a link up before to show you the crush difference where I ran the van over it. This is pretty strong pipe. Granted, you can crush it when it's on the ground, but you can crush these on the ground too. <laughs> when we put it underground, especially six inches underground, that's the rating, about 3,000 pounds crush, just at six inches underground. So all the pipe that you use is gonna be fine. This is available, the, the corrugated pipe is available at Home Depot and Lowe's, easy for the homeowner to go and get it. So again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'll be happy to try to answer your questions. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drain, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, Guaranteed. Have a great day. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I've been getting a lot of uh, phone calls from people all around the country, around the world, and it's really hard for me to answer all the phone calls. If you would, if you really want some advice on your project, I would be happy to help, but you need to send me an email. Uh, it goes straight to the phone, so it's easy to text and reply. But it's kind of hard to stop what we're doing and answer the phone call. So, anyways, here's the address right here. AppleDrains at gmail.com. Send me an email. Thanks, guys.